There I go, get myself in front of the camera there. Today I'm going to do a hopefully quick video on making carbon graphite melting dishes. Uh, most of the world uses few silica in that. Uh, I did this for myself and the heating characteristics of the graphite billet are so far superior to the fused silica dish that I started making them and selling them. They sell pretty well. This is a larger one that I make and uh, I gotta ship this one off to Texas today but it's the last of the big ones that I made. And then the smaller size I've been making a lot of these and the way I form the spouts uh, it makes pouring molds with it really quite easy. I'm going to get set up to do this. I use my cross slide table which has greatly improved since my video on making graphite molds. Uh, I'll get it set up and then we'll get back to the video. Okay, I've dug around in my graphite and I've come up with a just a block of graphite. It's a piece left over from either making round molds or or another dish or whatever. But it's got a, a good thickness. It's about oh five eighths of an inch thick, so it'll make a nice little dish. Then what I've done is I just take a square and I just go corner to corner and I scribe it. So I got an X in the center. Then I take my scribe and I just make a dent. And then I just take a compass and I just go around it. And I end up, I highlighted this so you can see it. So I, I end up with a center point and three of the corners marked. So when I run this over to the bandsaw, it's a lot easier for me to see and I just rough saw it out and then I'll put it on the sander and and round it up a little bit. This is what the finished product is going to look like. It's just a small hold a couple of ounces of silver maybe four or five ounces of gold. And then I form the spout with a sander after I've cut it out on the bandsaw. So I've got the table set up. I'm going to reposition the camera and we'll get going again. This is my setup that I've been using to make the melding dishes and and molds. Uh, from my last video you can see my cross slide table has greatly improved. It's uh, a, just a two-way table and then I bought a vise that clamps on top of it. But I've built hard stops to where I can stop the travel coming towards me and then on the other side of the table is a stop and then each end has a stop for the other axis so I can position these. So this is a rotary table and by cranking the handle that tabletop is going to rotate. So I've positioned the table and I've positioned the stops to where the other day I made 30 melting dishes and all I have to do is just go till I hit the stops and I know I've got the right size so I'm going to swing this around out of the way and we'll get a piece of graphite set up on top of there. Okay I've set the piece of graphite onto the table, centered it up with the end mill over the center mark that I made and then I put a little down pressure on the end mill and then lock it down and that holds it in position. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the clamps that go into the T-slots in the top of the table right there. I'm going to use the clamps to hold that down. Okay, I've got the block clamp down. I don't know if I can do much better on this. 
it's just a shim under it and a spacer and then a little piece of all thread and a piece of flat bar and it goes into the slot and clamps it down so I'm gonna zoom back out I don't think I need much more camera on that so that's gonna get a little noisy in here it's 33 degrees outside and I got the big heater running and then I've also got to run the big fan I'll be right back get everything started up well here we go I had to locate a dust man Get ready to saw it on the drill press or on the bandsaw. Be right back. 